Hello and welcome to another quick middle of the day update. Bitcoin, as always, in a hurry to go nowhere. Yeah, absolutely going in circles, just in a very, very tight range and really in a range where even the grid bots uh, are starting to feel bored. It is um, still unchanged, the scenario. I'm currently watching if the wave two top is already in. It's of course too early to say that if the wave two top is already in, we need to hold the 29,660 level or better hold below that level and should see in the coming sessions a sharp sell-off below yesterday's low which was 29,220 and then also below this swing low which was made on Monday um, 29,075 which would be the confirmation yeah I mean if you have something like that like a five wave move down then a sell-off below that wave one low is always the confirmation that the third wave is unfolding. And yeah, I can't really give you a clear target for the third wave as it seems that we are moving in a diagonal structure again, but we can look at some Fibonacci extensions, but that all assumes that the wave two top is already in, which I haven't really got clarity for, but it's possible. Um, so targeting, I would say what we need to pay attention to is the one-to-one -one ratio at 28,530 next. And then also here, the 50% Fibonacci retracement level and the trend line, this ascending trend line, and the 50% FIB level is at 28,320. So that is all assuming the wave two top is already in. Now, that is just a micro count here, not that reliable, but certainly so far, that reaction here that it showed was to the Fibonacci retracements. Yeah, this resistance level and to the descending trend line of this descending broadening wedge. So we're watching if we can see further downside in the coming sessions, a break above the wedge pattern and a break above 29,990 would not necessarily be bullish short term. Yes. And it would most likely lead to this higher B wave. So the count that we just discussed assumes the B wave top is already in. A break above 29,990 would unlock a higher B wave in, into the 31k region, which is very likely as well. But without a break above the, the wedge pattern, I can't say it's going to happen. Okay. Um, then we even have a more bullish wave count on the chart. That's the yellow one. That is possible, but I don't believe it really until I see it. That would be if we get all these five waves fulfilled, followed by a three wave pullback, we can say with clarity that the larger degree wave two correction was already over here, but it's nothing I'm primarily looking for. It is a bullish alternative, a more direct bullish alternative, but I, I explained the shortcomings of this wave count in previous videos. I just have it there to track it if we need it, but a break below 29K will make me take this off the chart. I will then take it off the chart. That's really it. I don't want to make this video too long. It's very rep repetitive. I sincerely hope we start to see some movement so that I can tell you something new. But let's see if the later update today will give us some new insights. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.